Oxmox 9 is finally here. Let's quickly run a live upgrade from 8.4. Welcome back to the Homesec Explorer channel. Let's dive in. Test on a lab node first, then roll out to production. Shut down or migrate your VMs and create a backup of them. The full command list is linked in the description. Debian 13, kernel 6.14 and CFS 2.3 together make this the biggest Proxmox leap in years. But watch out for a few landmines. Cluster FS storage plugin is removed. Migrate to Ceph or RBD or mount volumes via FSTab before you upgrade. Nick renames possible. UDEV may switch your network card names. Pin interfaces by Mac or create an overwrite file. App M or 4 hardening. Services writing to out paths might be blocked. Inspect and adjust profiles. So what's new in Proxmox 9? It's based on Debian 13, fresh libraries and systemd 255. Kernel 6.14.8. Mediated vGPU live migration and better I.O. schedulers. Cremu 10 and LXC6. Faster word I.O. FS and unified C group V2 support. Ceph Squid, lower write amplification and RBD performance bump. CFS 2.3, RAID C expansion, add disk without rebuilding the pool. SDN Fabrics, native spin and leaf overlays. BGP EVPN, Tick LVM snapshots, instant backups on shared sign. Preflight checklist. Before we start, make sure you're running the latest 8.4 version. Run an apt update and apt upgrade to be sure. Once complete, run the preflight checklist PVE 8 to 9 4. Anything marked failed must be fixed before moving forward. If you're using Ceph, review the Proxmox guide to confirm whether you need to upgrade Ceph before upgrading Proxmox. Switch repos and update. Now we're switching our Debian base to Trixie and add the Proxmox 9 repository. I'll already remove the no subscription repository from the sources.list and place it in its own file using the new Deb822 style format. Run up the update and PVE829 one final time. And now the moment of truth. Run up this dashed upgrade. I'll fast forward through the download so you can watch the package list quickly scroll by. Now reboot your server. We are back up running kernel 6.14. PVA version confirmed we are now on Proxmox 9. Your kernel should be above 6.14. Quickly confirm that your VMs and containers are still there and that you can ping a network resource. Everything looks good. That's it for this quick guide. We upgraded Proxmox 8 to 9. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new version of Proxmox. Leave a like and check out my video for the Proxmox installation.